childhood cancers are curable, provided they get proper treatment on time. Children's bodies are also unique in that they can tolerate much more treatment than adults. In our country, the problems with childhood cancer are several. One is very low level of awareness, also very low level of awareness amongst healthcare personnel, you know, the, the doctors or the primary healthcare workers. To, to pick up a cancer early, we often get referrals quite late. Quite often, you know, it is sometimes the parents don't really pick it up. Even if a cancer is picked up, there isn't money to treat the cancer. Cancer treatment is extremely expensive. The diagnostics of cancer, the different investigations that are required cost a lot of money. If you take across the board, I would say about 70% of children with cancer are going to get cured. We get many families from below poverty line, you know, unemployed uh, parents or daily wage earners, village landless laborers. We've had families who we have managed to treat with help from organizations, with funding coming in. And then they've gone back into abject poverty. How do you address that? You know, to ensure that you, you cured a child of cancer, not to let that child die of poverty. So it, it's not just curing the cancer, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a whole thing that the society needs to push forward to, to take these children through to adult life. For every child who is detected with cancer, there might be many more who are not even detected. I would say there are about 10,000 new cases of cancer per year in children below 18 in our country. Foundations like the Genesis Foundation and a lot of others who are coming forward to help, they are making a massive difference. Without it, it's not going to happen. A child is a possibility. If you allow a child to live, you have no idea what this child is going to give back to the society. You don't know what this child is going to bloom into. How much can come from this child for this city, for this nation, for the world.